Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from Gravitas Pens. Gravitas Pens is run by uh, Ben Walsh over in Ireland and uh, he's made a number of pens which I've reviewed and today I'm looking at this pen. This is the Sentry model, S-E-N-T-R-Y, Sentry, uh, and it is the big brother of this pen which is the entry model, which I have reviewed in the past. This is the raw stainless steel version of the Sentry. We're gonna talk about the parts and features, uh, dual writing sample, pros and cons, and all of that kind of stuff. So let's start at the top. We've got this lovely peaked finial there, uh, which I, is a feature on Ben's pens that I really enjoy. Uh, and then the cap swells out. Uh, you've got a little tiny step down onto the barrel. You've got the only main branding on the pen there, which is the Gravitas Pens logo on the cap. The barrel continues along and tapers down quite a lot to another uh, little peaked end cap there. It's very nice. It's simple. It's it's a nice, what they call the mach uh, bright machine finish of this. Um, the cap unscrews and unscrews in just over two turns. It's a... Uh, um, nice sort of secure threads which is excellent and reveals this section which has got quite a lot of girth to it and it tapers down and then flares out and then a number six yovo nib stainless steel nib this one is a medium it comes in extra fine fine medium broad 1.1 and 1.5 millimeter stubs when you buy it from gravitas pens now there was a problem in the last year or so with the uh the housing of yovo nibs and some stories and cracking and things like that ben has inspected all of them changed them out uh, so you are guaranteed of a good housing when you buy a pen from gravitas pens the pen is a standard international cartridge converter pen. It comes with a handful of cartridges, uh, Pelican Royal Blue, uh, and with a uh, converter. Um, it's very secure, lots of threads. It's a, This is a big pen. It's a big in size, it's big in weight, it's secure, it's robust. It's all machined from excellent high quality 304 stainless steel. It's This is a, this is a solid, solid piece. Now, the pen does post, and when you push it, when you actually really lock it in, it does post quite securely. It is metal on metal, but it is a very heavy pen. Being this sort of solid stainless steel, uh, it actually has quite a, there's quite a lot of weight in this pen, so you probably don't need to post it uh, to write. It also doesn't add that much to the length, only a few millimetres really, uh, but also it does add you know, a considerable amount of weight. The section... Um, as I said, is sort of it's got a good girth to it. It's also PVD coated uh, and has these little micro grooves which stop it from being um, slippery and gives it a nice grip. You don't notice them necessarily under the finger when you're holding the pen. You can feel them when you move it around. You can see them slightly there catching the light, uh, but it just provides enough grip to make it a very sort of secure pen in your fingers. As I said, this is the uh, raw stainless steel version of the Sentry pen, and there are a number of different versions. Firstly, there is the uh, anodized aluminium version, which is similar uh, to the Entry that I have here, and it comes in a couple of different color finishes. There's black, and there's a couple of uh, things like the Skittle finish and things like that. There's also um, brass version, a brass version of the Sentry and a copper version. Let's do a size comparison now of the Sentry, and I'm gonna put it alongside, firstly, uh, the Entry, seeing as though they are very, as you can see from their profiles, very connected pens, uh, and also here a Lamy Safari, just because a lot of people are familiar with the Lamy Safari. As you can see, it is a little longer than the Lamy Safari, and a little longer there than the, uh, the Entry model. Uh, but it is also quite a girthy pen. You can see by the, the size of that pen just how big this pen is in the hand. Unposted, you can see it's just still a little longer there than the uh, entry and of course longer than the Lamy Safari. It is a big pen and with that number six size nib, it sort of, even the number six size nib looks smaller on this pen than it does on the entry model. When I reviewed the entry model, one of the things I said was how much I enjoyed how deeply the pen posted and actually the Sentry model here does post quite deeply, it's nice, um, but there is a lot of weight uh, in the in this pen, which I will talk about in just a second. So talking dimensions now for the Sentry model, it is 146 millimeters when it is capped, so it's a very good size pen. It's 140 when it's uncapped, which makes it 
a, per, a really good size. I think you'd be very hard pressed to find a hand. This was sort of too small for to write unposted. Posted, it's 148, so only a few millimeters longer uh, than it's uh, unposted or it's capped and unposted. <laughs> you know, lengths. Um, but the, where this pen comes into its own is the fact that this section runs from about 12 to 13 millimeters there in the middle, which makes it quite a big section. And then the weight of this pen. Now, Ben designed this pen because people like heavy pens. There are a range, there are people who really look for heavier pens. And this is one of those. This pen weighs 90 grams. To put that into context, a regular Lamy Safari around 18 to 20 grams. So it is a big, big, heavy pen. 64 grams of that weight is in the body of the pen. And we can say it has a weighted section because there is extra weight added into the section. But with the, all this metal in the back of the pen, the balance just sits, the pen just sits heavy in your hand. The cap alone weighs 26 grams. So when you post it, you are putting a lot of extra weight back here at the back of your hand. Um, and it does feel very, very heavy. Now, with that weight comes security in your hand and, and durability and robustness and all that. This is the sort of pen you could use, you know, if you were trapped in your car and you needed to break the window, you could break the window with this pen. It is rock solid, it is heavy, it is strong. It's gonna do what it's gonna do, but it is very, very heavy. So if you are looking for a light pen in the hand, the other Sentry models, such as the anodized aluminium versions, are probably gonna be closer to what you are looking for. So let's do a writing sample now with the uh, Gravitas Pens Sentry. Actually, I'm not gonna write with this post-it, it's just too heavy for my hand. This is the raw stainless Ooh, steel version of the pen. This is a medium Yovo number six nib. And uh, it writes very, very smoothly. The ink I have in this is Aurora und Klinger. Alt Bordeaux. Oh, have I spelled that right? I think you know what I mean. This is a beautiful ink. It's got this lovely red, winey sort of color to it, uh, obviously given the name. Uh, and I think it matches this pen because uh, for me, I think it's sort of got like a nice, I don't know, like classic sort of feel about it. So anyway, let's do some writing. Okay, this pen is super smooth. Yovo medium nibs are wonderful. Um, it's not super broad, it's not super narrow, it sits very nicely in that medium, and it is very wet. Also a property of the ink, of course. Um, this, I find these Rora und Klinge inks have to be very good flow, uh, but also this pen writes very smoothly and writes very wet with it. Um, quick writing. Like there is absolutely zero issue whatsoever with the flow of this pen. No ink starvation, no hard starts. It's just a beautiful pen to write with. Reverse writing, it's drier, it's a bit thinner, but you know, it still does the job. It is a stiff nib. These Jovo nibs are not flex nibs. You just push a little bit more ink out. As you can see, it makes it very, very wet. But really, in terms of everyday standard writing, this is about as perfect for me as I can get. It's smooth, it's wet, it's generous, it's consistent, it's reliable. It's all the things you look for in a Yovo nib. Now we are talking, as I said, a Yovo steel nib with a Yovo feed and housing with a standard international uh, converter. So the guts, the internals of this pen, there's nothing to say it shouldn't write really, really well, but Ben, over there at Gravitas Pens also really takes care in the presenting and, and providing a product uh, that is uh, superb and works perfectly. He takes great pride in that. So before we get into the pros and cons of this pen, I just wanna do, talk about the price. On Ben's website, when I'm at the day I'm filming this review, 
The price for this pen is 85 euro. Now there are things like the brass and the copper versions will cost a little bit more, um, but the 85 euro uh, is around 95 US dollars or 130 Australian. The pen comes packaged simply in a you know leatherette sleeve here, which says Gravitas Pens on it, and then has the Ogham uh, writing for Gravitas Pens. So you're not getting big fancy boxes, you are really paying for the pen. And I think 85 euro is an okay price for this. Um, it's a, st it's a mach machined metal pen and there are uh, a lot more expensive pens that fit this um, mold, even with a steel nib and a cartridge converter. So I think this is in a reasonable price point, especially with the details of what you get. So let's, let's quickly talk about the pros and cons now. Firstly, Cons are minimal and both are related to one thing and that is the weight of the pen. For some people, this particular version of the Sentry is just going to be too heavy. For me, when it is posted, it is just on the too heavy side. Um, I find the balance to be slightly heavy in the back of my hand. So I tend to write with this, as you saw in the writing sample, I tend to write with this uh, unposted. It just feels nicer in my hand and it feels very heavy on the page, which is really good because you'd never feel like you're having to really work hard writing with it. It's just gonna write under its own weight. Um, and that weight can also be a pro. If you like heavy pens, if you want something that is gonna sit heavy in your hand, that you're gonna feel in your pocket, this is going to be the pen for you. At 90 grams, it is a honking great pen. I really like the size and dimensions of the pen. I like the feel of that grip in my hand. I like the, the just the general size of it. In fact, the uh, Delrin model here, which is modeled off the Sentry model, um, it's the same size and dimensions, but a much lighter weight pen made of Delrin um, industrial sort of style plastic. Um, that is close to the perfect pen for me in terms of the weight and the balance because that size and the dimensions are absolutely spot on. I love the fact that this comes with a number six Yovo nib, that there are a number of nibs available through Gravitas pens, but also anything that fits that you could put into this pen. So you have a real chance to personalize it. I love the durability and how rock solid this pen is. You could, this pen is, you know, you if you throw this in your bag, if you throw this in, you know, the center console of your car or wherever, it's gonna do more damage to the center console than to the pen. This is rock, rock solid. The other thing I love about uh, the Gravitas Pens Sentry and all the Gravitas Pens is the attention to detail that Ben puts in. It's the little things. It's there's no sharp edges. The threads are all smooth. All the threads to actually cap and, you know, and, and post the pen and everything, they're all beautifully cut. He prototypes and prototypes and goes through stages and stages of the development of these pens and he gets them made to a micro micro millimeters of detail which is absolutely beautiful and that and you pay for that and you also know that when you pay for it you are going to get a pen that is well made and well thought out so this was the gravitas pens century i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff um if you'd like to get in touch you can get in touch with me on any of the platforms that's below or drop me a comment here uh or you know my email is just down below as well if you've got products you think i should be looking at or if there's a way you would like to support my channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for a review i would really love to hear from you a big, big thank you to Ben Walsh at Gravitas Pens for providing this and a number of pens for review. Um, without support like his, my channel would absolutely not be possible. So a thank you to him and a thank you to you, my viewers, for supporting my channel and for watching and engaging. I love it. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.